If there's one of the Hive Mind compilation channels, by the way, if you see any of those pop up, subscribe to them. I'm down a lot. Negative 41. I've been in worse holes before. <laughs> I was in a hole last weekend with a crab in it. Big crab, too. Lady crab. You were in a hole with a crab? Yeah, I <laughs> fell into a hole and there was an old... I don't know if it's old, but there's a crab in there. A crab ass? A crab ass, yeah. <laughs> she benched me. Pretty good. How'd you get in the hole? What do you mean? Well, did you fall into it? Did you dig, eh, dig I it was yourself? Put there. You were I was convinced to go in there. Okay. Someone said, you won't believe what's down there. I said, no fucking way, it's a crab. And then it went... Fuck. I shit my, my bed again. <laughs> I did it again this weekend. This is the third weekend in a row, bro. The third weekend in a row, I done shit my own bed, bro. It ain't even from like drinking or something. I just have this one dream, bro, where Grimace is on a trampoline and I'm under the trampoline, right? I'm laying under it. Like, wow, look at this serene scene. Grimace. Grimace from McDonald's? Grimace from the McDonald's characters, yeah, exactly. The purple guy. Yes. Yeah. He's just jumping and then the trampoline breaks and he's... His massive weight, his all his purple weight lands right on my stomach and I, I shit myself, man. Well, it's just like that movie Inception says, if you shit yourself in your dreams. <laughs> you die in real life. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been on the show much le recently, man. Yeah, I, I got a lot of better shit to do, to be honest. Tailgating mostly, it's football season. Yeah, okay, that's fair. I go around and I sell bacon-wrapped uh, bacon at tailgates. <laughs> Bacon wrapped bacon? It's fucking amazing. So dude. what's in the middle? Bacon. <laughs> and what's around the outside? Bacon. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be like a big clump of bacon? <laughs> I guess you could call it that, but I sell it as bacon wrapped bacon. That's better marketing. You sell it at the tailgates? Fuck yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Fill my whole car with it. Use my car as a smoker. You converted your car into a smoker? Yep. Took the seats out and everything, and I lay a little fire under it, and I go to bed in there with it, too. I get smoked out with the bacon. You do look tan. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm such a terrible person for expecting better. Yes. Of the AI. Absolutely. Yeah. Correct. You are a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I got, I iced you out. I bought you that chain. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I put you on a flight. <laughs> <laughs> you were wearing that sundra sundress. Uh-huh. And you looked good. Thank you. And I, and who got that for you? <laughs> you did. It's okay. Just remember that, all right? You're not a bad person. You're my little cash pig. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to kiss. Quit asking. We might. No. Dude, it's a will they or won't they moment. Our gain's a little hot. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't, that, that was, I didn't, I, I was just trying to, yeah, me I was too. trying to change the mic thing. Yeah, it's fine. Will was a little silly. It was funny. Yeah. Silly, yeah, Will. <sighs> <laughs> you knew there was a crab in there and you climbed no, in anyway? No, 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 no. <laughs> Someone said, you won't believe what's in that hole. And right. I said, okay. So I went in the hole. I <laughs> fell into a trap, so to speak. But you I, didn't fall into the hole? No. How did you get down there? What do you mean? How deep was the hole? Deep enough. Like, it was probably nine feet. So you just kind of jumped in? I climbed down. There were roots and stuff. Okay. Mm. So you could have climbed up. Nah, I guess I didn't think about that. <laughs> See if you can dig your way out of this hole. Yeah, I hope so. There's not a crab in here. That's what you think. I hope. <laughs> I can smell your energy from two planets away. It stinks like shit. I smell like shit and everything looks like piss. That was were the original lyrics. <laughs> no, they weren't, yes. dude. What? Yes, they were. Adele told me. <laughs> Adele told you? And when I was on the phone with her earlier, she mentioned that to me. Really? She said, by the way, do you know the original lyrics were like... <laughs> I can smell your energy from two planets away. It smells like shit. I smell like shit and everything. It looks like piss. And I was like, oh, were those placeholder lyrics? You might have heard me say that. Like, well, were those just placeholders Didn't or whatever? Say that, yeah. She said, no, it was actually a very complex allegory that he felt the public wasn't ready to dive into. And he held back. And that's why on Mr. Morale, he says pee pee poo pee all the time. That's like an ad lib. <sighs> why is my chair doing this leaning thing? Can I lock it up? Yeah, dude. You can. Boom, I like that. <laughs> Less range of motion. I can focus on the game now. I know I'm a little late, but I just started Game of Thrones, and boy, I hope I get to see a couple of those suckers. There's no dragons in, like, the first couple episodes? I don't know if they come at all, because apparently they've been extinct for a long time. Oh, see, I haven't seen any Game of Thrones, so yeah. I, mean, I don't have much to contribute here, but I hope you see some dragons, too. I'm sure you will, because <laughs> I, I think feel they like... talk about it a lot. I feel, I got a feeling. Yeah, I, okay. I got a feeling that one of those little eggs is going to hatch. Right, Grant? Don't spoil. We have to be honest about the fact that, like, we don't have to be honest. We should. I've never even met Quadag. Con 
Quandinka. Yes, you have. <laughs> There's video evidence and photo evidence of us meeting. Quanso. I've never met Quansas. Quanso? Quansas? <laughs> Quanfa. Is this like based on the fact that you just can't read too well? Like you're like your eyesight's bad? Chris. Chris? <laughs> I've never met him. <laughs> never met a Chris in my life. Dasher. Dasher? Yeah, that doesn't even like look like that. Mm -hmm. That's like the first ones at least started with a Q. Quadramble. Quadramble? Never met him. What <laughs> you smell like shit. I smell like shit. I I don't know. It kinda would it kind of works. <laughs> Everything it looks like scheme even, but it looks like piss. <laughs> Tell you what, I got a couple friends who are Sig Fried. I'm actually Sig Fried. I quit. And I'm Sig Fried. I won a lifetime supply of Marlboros in a radio contest. A radio contest. <laughs> yep. It was who who could throw a radio the farthest. What the fuck? Yeah, it was a radio contest. We had to take a radio, throw it as far as you can, and I threw it the furthest. You threw it the furthest. Yeah. I find that so hard to believe. My competition was a bunch of 15-year-olds. Oh. What? Why? I have... You know what? Never mind. Let's go on to the next matchup. It was at the county fair. What the fuck, man? They're not a children's-themed band. That's a lot of people's favorite band ever. Whatever, man. Sorry, I was just trying to... <laughs> I've tried to do like normal talking for the video, but I, I see that you don't want any part of that. There's two things I want to talk about. Yeah. I want to talk about fictional restaurants that celebrities don't own that have signature items that rhyme with their names. Or I want to talk about the potential of there being a crab ass overlord that is controlling a curse that's ruining my life. Those, that's it. And I thought I made that very clear. When did you... Make that clear. It doesn't matter. How's the curse ruining your life? I feel like, if anything, it's just doing something to the show. It's ruining my life. Last night, my bed fell apart. You have an old bed. It's the curse. It's not the curse. It's the crab ass. <laughs> you have a rotting bed frame. Kevin Shaken Bacon's restaurant. All the chairs vibrate, and they only serve bacon. <laughs> That's the kind of jokes I want to talk about. <laughs> I like Pink Floyd. I love Psychedelia, as you all know. Um, but like I said, The Wall and Dark Side of the Moon, I would probably have to pick over Kadrisha's album. Criffany here has to take it for me. Okay. Yeah. It was fun, man. I don't know. I'll tell you what. Listen, you can call me old all you want, but you can't have a Spotify throwing contest. Yeah, I guess. Can't win a lifetime supply of vape juice from a Spotify throwing contest. <laughs> this isn't even like an archetype of challenges. Hey, call me old fashioned. You can't have an Apple Music throwing. I guess you could have an Apple throwing contest, yeah. What the hell, yeah, dude? You could. Apple throwing contest. That's a good idea. Let's finish this side of the bracket. You are insane. Whatever, man. Do you want to sig? I lubricate my AR-15 with liberal cum. When I read it, I thought it said literal cum. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one is funny because I would think it would be liberal tears. Right. Like, why do they have <laughs> liberal, liberal cum? cum? They're hooking up with liberals and saving yeah. their cum to lubricate their gun? Yeah, it's very strange. <laughs> I just wish people would stop having fun. Just stop joking around about music. There's nothing funny about it. It's like Fight Club. It's not funny. Good job, Riley. Thank you. Um, Super Bowl's better than Christmas. There, I said it. Super Bowl's better than Christmas? Super Bowl Sunday's way better than Christmas Day. If the Super Bowl was on Christmas, fuck. <laughs> get presents in the morning and then a few hours later you're watching Tom Brady battle for another ring? It's, and what is this? Cards. Oh. <sighs> 13 different cards in a deck, and only four of them are letters, because those are they're those ones. <laughs> what about two? What? What about two? As like a letter? <laughs> Two's not a letter. <laughs> it is. Two. L M N O P Q R S two U V W X Y Z. You know, for a second there, I, I actually I was worried. What do you mean? I had something wrong. And I realize I still do. I'm big enough to admit that, but I thought two was a letter for a second. It is. <laughs> two U V. Like the name Thomas. It's two H O M A S. Got it. <laughs> Wait a second. O is definitely is there there's a zero in the deck. It's like that and pyramids are, are fighting for the battle of Channel Orange. They're almost fucking. Easy. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just saying those songs are so good. And like, I can't decide between the two. So they're fucking? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what even you're sorry for. I'm just confused. <laughs> I'm sorry I said it like that and it offended you. It didn't offend me. It's like they're fucking. They're All not right. fighting for top position. They're fucking. All right. <laughs> this is a fuck contest? I love contests. I'm you threw a radio. I can't have a fuck contest for my favorite song in Channel Orange. You're out here chucking radios around at the county fair for cigarettes. For I wasn't what? chucking them around. I was chucking them forward. Very far, mind right. you. You would too for cigarettes.
I'm sorry. It's Sweet Life. Yeah, it's Sweet Life for me too, but I'm sorry about how I acted. And I'm sorry I said the songs were fucking. It's all right. All right. I'm low-key like the evil Knievel of not getting canceled. <laughs> <laughs> MGM lion, more like the MCM my lion. I've got a huge crush on that b big beast. Mm, that's <laughs> bestiality is pretty. Pretty much. God, that lion is hot. Yeah, no. Nope, 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 nope. He doesn't mean it, guys. He I'd be I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to fuck that creature. Nope, nope. <laughs> He's just playing around again. He's doing something. He's doing something he thinks is funny. His Man Crush Monday is not a lion. His big hot cat body. He's just playing around. I can't emphasize that enough. He's just, just messing around. Again, it's the person with the shirt here that goes a long way. This yeah. guy's so proud of it. And I can kind of tell how the home is set up. And these kind of homes always have an assault rifle. In. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. If your kitchen's like this and you got tons of family photos on the wall, you're ready to kill. I don't like when guys who look like this are proud of anything. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. The only thing I like that guys like this are proud of is like a new lawnmower. Yeah, that's true. Like, Cub cadet. <laughs> this could be on conservative self owns yeah. as well, which is another great Twitter account. Yeah. Because it feels like he's admitting to something that yeah. he didn't mean to say with sure. his shirt. A song that I thought was impossibly corny the first time I heard it, and now I listen to pretty often. I'm just gonna let that one hang out there. <laughs> now let what you said just kind of live by itself. I'm gonna get torched by the internet. They're gonna light me on fire, stone me. Your guess is that bad? No, but they hate me. The comments are usually about how you're good looking. Not the ones I'm reading. Are you reading the comments to our videos or are you reading comments to other videos? I just read all the comments, dude. I know, but like on what? Facebook, the neighborhood apps, all the neighborhood apps. Watchdog? I'm, I'm on all those all the time. You should read the comments on our videos. It's mostly good. Good stuff about you. If I could find them. You don't know where to find our videos. No one's videos. ever sent me a link. You've never seen one of our videos, not even once? No. Me. You don't have to get invited. I feel like you have a weird <laughs> misunderstanding of the, the internet. You know, the other day I went to the park and threw chips at birds. Mm -hmm. People were visibly upset. I definitely ruffled some feathers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Jason <Yeah>. Derulo. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to lose our self-control there for a second. And start making out on set, you and me. No, oh, see, it's not a he. It's tough will, to hold back. It's not a will they, won't they thing. It's just not going to happen. Sometimes I look at you and I think, well, we could. I have wretched scurvy in my mouth. <laughs> and you know that. Because I was at sea for 12 months. What is scurvy? <laughs> Ugh. No! Okay, I'm sorry. Did I tell you about the charity I'm starting? Really? Mm -hmm. totally. Starting a charity for time travelers from the 1800s that drops them directly in a busy casino. Oh, dude, yeah. that's a great idea. It's gonna be really cool. I'm just, uh, <laughs> it's kind of a charity and uh, kind of a prank show that I'm doing. Yeah. I am gonna film their reactions, because obviously, you know what I mean? A lot of them will die. A lot of them are gonna have heart attacks. Yeah. And they're just, a lot of them are gonna be, they'll be like vertigo, I guess. You might yeah. get like dizzy yeah. and confused and whatever. That's gonna be hilarious. But most of them are gonna have a lot of fun. I'd say a few of them. I don't think most yeah. of them. I think you're underestimating the amount of degenerates that were around in the 1800s. They yeah. might think they're in heaven. Oh, I don't. Yeah. I'm not saying that like the, the type of behavior <laughs> is going to give them a heart attack. I'm it's saying the it's the lights, the <laughs> yeah, flashing. The uh, they're not used to any of that shit. It's going to be, they're going to be shell shocked. But at the same time, I have to imagine that people from the 1800s did dream in color at least. At least. Yeah. So they'll maybe have imagined a place as beautiful as the modern day casino. Yeah. I was gonna guess intercourse on the shore. What's that? Sodomy in the sand? What's that? Reverse cowgirl in a lake house? Hey, what the, it's not even close to the beach. I guess it is. It is close to the beach. Well, well the one my parents have. You don't want to be that close to the beach because there could be crabs. You are afraid of crabs. I you? really am. Yeah. Some people hate spiders. Other people hate Nazi zombies and stuff. And I hate crabs. Feels like a recency bias thing. Huh? Feels like you just ran into a crab recently I and that's in. what you're most scared. Climbed down. Thank you. To a crab hole. Not like I <laughs> bumped into a crab on the street, I could defend myself there at least. Uh, yeah, for sure. I'm I'd just have my saying, street gun on me. I'm just saying you like what you're scared of is just the most recent obstacle or opponent that you've faced. I guess. <laughs> Spooky though. They freaky looking. Yeah. All right. Have your arms always been hairy? 
Jesus Christ. I'm wondering, I just, I don't remember if you shaved. Well, obviously before. not when I was like three months old. <laughs> You're a fucking freak mutant. No offense to any three month olds that have a lot of hair on your arms. You're also valid and you uh -huh. have deserve a new respect. a lot of three month olds who watch the videos. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Yeah. And that's like one of my key target demos. Mm, babies? Yeah, they, they buy in bulk. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> babies buy in bulk. That's what they say. Venus. Closest planet to Earth, right? Penis. Closest planet <laughs> to, to your fucking face. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> Boom. Fuck Get you. Get shit on. <laughs> Whatever. Asshole. Put Big Papa by the Notorious B.I.G. This is hypnotized Damn by it. Big E. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. The other one I was thinking of. Damn it. And if these people do survive that first stop at the casino, do you have any ideas of where I should take the survivors? Strip club. Strip club. Imagine them hearing future really loud with like a BBL in their face <laughs> <laughs> and like a $26 beer. By God, I've never seen a butt except. <laughs> Loudon, get me another Pilsner. <laughs> what is Why this? Why are they British? <laughs> Everybody from the 1800s is British. No, right? they probably sound <laughs> yeah, like they were. <laughs> What is this music? Oh, this is future. No, I know, I know. But what's the music? <laughs> Dude, this is future. No, I know, I'm still, I'm just still adapting. I'm just a little bit confused. I'm used to the 1800s, but uh, I'm just wondering who is the musical artist that we're listening to? It's Hendrix, man. Jimmy Hendrix. <laughs> Why would he know <laughs> The guitar him? player. <laughs> wow. He sure does sound different. You know, Crab's shed. Nope. <laughs> okay. This sounds like a like a clickbait like Fortnite video title or something. What's up, you sussy pogger pranksters? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Nav are clickbaiting Norm McDonald. Fuck. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Quad Echo. That's what I put. Me. It is Quad Echo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fully loaded baked potato. Thought it would come with a banana clip. <laughs> is that your attempt at a? One-liner? No. Just like <laughs> when you get a baked potato, they're like, would you like that fully loaded? <laughs> and then they give you a big round of ammunition instead of cheese and bacon. Uh, right, yeah. I was going to say it's loaded with cheese, bacon, sour cream sometimes. Yeah. This is loaded with 30-06 armor-proofing full metal jacket rounds. <laughs> That's what I want my baked potato loaded with. Ammunition strong enough that it can pierce a tank, let alone the flesh of a man. I don't think there's many places that will serve that. You'd be surprised. Where, Applebee's or something? Florida. Florida. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the whole state of Florida. I did forget about Florida. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They encourage you just to walk around with bullets. I get the uh, the bath salts latte at the Starbucks <laughs> in, in Florida. <laughs> it wakes you up, I'll tell you yeah. what. Pink stink gators. My Detroit players. Oh, we're Detroit players. I Sorry. Know. Yeah. Sorry to all the old heads and OGs and everybody that came before us. Versus Folklore by Taylor Swift. What's, what's your head down for? What's the deal? This is just gonna like, I don't know. I feel like you're just gonna like pit us against each other or something. I don't really think so. I know this matchup is kind of difficult. You love folklore though. I mean, it's really good. I couldn't care less about it. About the whole matchup? No, about folklore. Uh, okay, I don't wanna- <laughs> I don't care. It's good, whatever. It's good in the context of Taylor Swift, who's like, ah, oh, so irrelevant to my life. <laughs> ah, like I, as a music fan, I don't care if she never makes another song again. Okay. A cold can of LaCroix guava. <laughs> That's Jesus. Wow. That's right. You're right. Oh my God, it's Black Country New Road. And like that album's just like sick. Oh yeah, I like it more than Folklore. Good, thank God. I don't know why you thought I was going to pick Folklore. I don't know. I thought you were going to be like, Team Swifty, get on my side. And then like there was going to be this whole army of Swifties behind you. And then I was going to get like crucified on the <laughs> internet. No, not liking Taylor no. Swift, man. That'll happen when we do the Taylor Swift bracket. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Could it be? No, it couldn't be. You don't know any other members of Metallica? Could it be? <laughs> it couldn't be. <laughs> He's only in Megadeth for sure. <laughs> I've never seen any of these movies, but they don't sound like shit Kevin Bacon would be in. <laughs> Wrong. This right. summer, Megadeth with Kevin Bacon. He has like fucking squid arms that shoot rockets and shit. <laughs> Against the evil crab overlords. I am <laughs> done with the crab shit. Dude. Oh, fuck yourself, man. They're going to eat that shit up. Crabs, crabs, crabs. <laughs> They're part of the curse. The crab overlord invented the curse and <laughs> tricked me in going into a hole. Isn't the curse? You explained the curse. Uh, whatever. I don't care. Something to do with the crab. Crab ass. <laughs> <laughs> Took my name off the organ donor list this morning. Why'd you do that? Oh. I want to be here. I'm going to stick around. That's, how's that going to help you? People that are on the organ donor list get into more accidents. Really? 
By what margin? What's the good st- enough? Really? So you kind think- of a surprising amount, honestly. You'd see the number and go, huh? So do you think that yeah. one of those government organizations is sending out cars to kind of cause stuff? Yeah. I used to melt Barbies in the backyard. Really? Oh yeah, make them look all like. <laughs> I was putting toilet paper in the kitchen sink, uh-huh. sparking it up, making the Barbies dance over it. You kind of like making little pulley systems, and they'd go slowly over, and their feet would drip into the sink. And I put them in the oven. Take them out, put them in the microwave, take them out, take them in the backyard, build a bonfire, fuse all their bodies together. Has anyone ever told you that your entire childhood is like a red flag? (laughs) Yeah. I love a Tacoma too, man. It's a good looking fucking truck. You ever get one? Did I ever get one? Yeah, you ever get one? Do I look rich? Just for a day. A rental Rental? Tacoma? Yeah. Let's go rent some Tacomas after this. (laughs) Would you date for a Tacoma? Like if somebody had a Tacoma, you would date them for that? If my badass bitch rolled up in a badass truck like a Tacoma? (laughs) I put a ring on it. <laughs> Let's go. Who is he? Hey, talk Let's go. I was half worried and half excited that this exact thing, same thing Who would happen. Who is he? Turban. Schmunka. What? Twiz. What? Donka. I've heard of it. I'm scared. That sounds like a Willy Wonka thing. Turban. Schmunka. Twiz. I'm an organ donor. Never been in an accident. You don't go outside much, though. True. Come to think of it, though, a lot of door dashes have gotten in car accidents right outside of my house. <laughs> Like, I'll door dash something, and, like, almost every single one gets in a fiery crash in front of my house. Same, bro. Watch your back. And it's always, like, a black SUV that comes out of nowhere, crashes into the car, and then just leaves. But leaves it, like, a big fiery mess. And usually there's somebody running around on fire for a second, and then they perish. Yeah. And so I usually just get another door dash, but... (laughs) Wow. And the last time I was at the doctor, he did start drooling a little bit. And said, look at those. Hubba, hubba. Can I touch was, those kidneys? That was weird. Yeah, I'm going to have to think about that with the organ donor thing. It's dangerous business walking out your front door. It is. Also, wasn't he in a car? Jefferson? Yeah, Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> what? <laughs> He, he got his top blown off in a car, right? Jeez. And he was dating Marilyn Monroe. Jeez. Or, man. sorry, Marilyn Manson. You are, fu- you got it all fucked up. It's crazy that even when you rise to the height of the president of the United States of America, you can't even just ride around with the top down. <laughs> Sipping on gin and juice. I don't know anymore. Um, we literally had a debate on whether you were going to know who Yeet was, <laughs> and it is awesome that you don't. That's my favorite outcome. In what world would I know who he is? He did a Minions. He did the Minions song. Minions. Rich Minion. <laughs> That's the guy! That's, That's Yeet! That's the Rich Minions guy! I love right. that you're bridge to Yeet's I, Minions. Yeah. There are many like you. There are many I, like you out there. I'm Yeet. a big Minions guy. Yeah. yeah. I, I can pursue my passion in that time. Which is? Drinking and gambling. Just be careful with that, because I would hate to see you tarnish your legacy. Tarnish my legacy? Explain that for me. You know, I wouldn't like to see you tarnish your legacy. <laughs> tarnish my legacy. Explain that for me. Yeah, I think, like, I don't know. I wouldn't want to see you, like, tarnish your legacy. <laughs> legacy. I already have a septic cyst on my left leg. My right leg's all right. A baker's dozen is 13. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> And crabs lay eggs, too. So technically, they could be a baker's dozen of crab eggs. And he's playing the drums and singing. Genesis. Just like Anderson (laughs) Peck. Yeah, Phil Collins and Anderson Peck. Not that different, after all. Both Korean, too. Part Korean. (laughs) Oddly, how everything ties together when you look at it from certain angles. My grandpa fought in the Korean War. Anderson Peck, part Korean. Phil Collins, also part Korean and plays the drums. Wow. Phil Collins is part Korean? No. Okay. But you were ready to believe it. Uh, yeah. That's how rumors start. Correct. And confusion. Hysteria. Turmoil. <laughs> Disaster. Oh, you got me there. Grant, can we hear the next type beat? I was going to say lunacy. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm on literally any other road, I'm lost. Unless I'm on the road that goes to my plug's house. I usually get an Instacart from my plug's house, but the car keeps fucking exploding right in my driveway. Yeah, you're saying that Every about the DoorDash <laughs> stuff, too. It's so weird. It's like it gets hit by, like, a ray gun. Yeah. <laughs> like, it gets, like, rocket launched. And it's so annoying because I want my drugs. And I call my plug. I go, hey, did you give it to the, the delivery person? And the plug goes, well, yes, of course. Should be there any moment. And I say, yeah, well, there's just a big fiery explosion in my driveway. <laughs> this, these ain't my drugs. Drugs? I didn't order a big fiery explosion. <laughs> Fuck no, I'd never order that. And then the plug goes, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. We'll get this sorted out. And then we get it sorted out through the delivery company. And they're like, yeah, it looks like you got fucking obliterated or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Stop, you're hurting me. And good AM is supposed to mean it's good morning. Man, yeah. <sighs> Thanks, but like at this point, I'm a little overwhelmed. Just new info? Yeah. You want to take a break? Eat some crackers or something? No, I'm good. You sure? Yeah. I mean, we can stop the lesson for today. I mean, it's, you know, 
No, I want to. I want to keep trying. Okay, buddy. Now finish this three album run from Kanye West. Okay, college dropout, late registration, and Jesus. Nobody think about the theme. Okay, it's college dropout, then late registration, and then Super Bowl party. No, <laughs> no, buddy. That doesn't. It's not the same thing. I'm sorry. It's all right. Listen, let's take a break for today and we'll just resume in the next video. Okay. What are we going to cancel the robots who made this tweet? Yeah. <laughs> How do you spell Bader Ginsburg? <laughs> I love Peter Cetera. What about Peter Gene Hernandez? That's he's a he's a baseball player. For no. the Houston Astros. <laughs> Correct. Are you kidding me? That's Bruno Mars. That's his real name. Is Peter Gene Hernandez. That's a baseball player. Let's say Ferris, Ferris Bueller's <laughs> big, big day, day off was in our city. It's yeah. not called Ferris Bueller's big day off. Yeah, but it was his big day off. We can all agree. <laughs> we on can that. all agree on that, right? I mean, he worked really hard all school year, and then he took a big day off. Yeah. 